guys, what's up? It's Gibbs, so what do you crap? We're going to work today on shadow boxing. We're going to do a little shadow boxing routine, and we're going to work some defensive techniques into that. The best way to have success working defensive techniques into your shadow boxing is something you should already be doing. When you're shadow boxing, you should be imagining a, uh, an imaginary opponent across from you. So all of your punches should be head height. All of your teeth should be stomach height. All of your kicks should be rib height, or if you're going to the leg, should be thigh height and you should be throwing combinations that are going to make sense against a live opponent. So things that go left, right, left, right are great. So I go left kick, land cross, hook, other side for a nice little four count number one, things like that. So what I'm going to do when I start integrating defensive techniques into my shadow boxing round, I'm going to imagine an opponent across from me that throws common, uh, common combinations to start with. So jab, right kick. So if my opponent's facing me and throw their jab, it's on their left side, my right. So I'm going to parry that, boom. And my counter back, bang, bang. Me, I can follow it up, bang, bang, yeah? So, if I start off shadow boxing, if normally I would go jab, cross, knee, elbow, elbow. In the middle of that sequence, I'm gonna imagine that my opponent is throwing something back at me. So maybe he throws jab, cross back at me. So I would go jab, bam, then I imagine my opponent's coming back, jab, cross. Parry, parry, hook. I come back, knee, bang. Close with those elbows, bang, bang, yeah? Now I'm ready for if an opponent attacks in the middle of that, I've practiced dealing with attacks in the middle of that sequence. Parries are a nice simple one to work in. If you carry this hand down, that means that you, you, you knock that hand down a little bit, you can follow up on that side. So if you parry a power hand side punch, boom, a nice thing that works is what we call the bounce cross. You parry, straight hand, boom. If you parry on your lead side, a good thing that works is knock that down, boom, don't go too big, because then you have to pick that hand back up in order to punch. Small parry, strong, strong parry, and then hook with that lead side. Knock it down, hook, boom. Okay, that's what we were just doing there. Parry, parry, hook. And that was following it up knee, but you can go parry, parry, hook, cross. Anything that you would normally do off of your hook, you can parry that power side, boom, hook, follow it up, okay? Next basic defensive technique is our kick check. So if our opponent kicks their power side, that's gonna be our lead side. If we're the same stance, then my opponent's power side kick is gonna be on my lead side and my check's gonna be right there. Now remember guys that it doesn't point at your opponent, it points where their kick is coming from. So it comes up and out, place your shin in the path of their kick. So I'm coming forward, attacking. They try that power side kick. I'm going to point that shin out, check it, boom. And then I'm going to come back, counter back, boom, boom, boom. And reset, okay? So normally if I would come forward and I would jab, kick, hook, cross, I would normally go boom, kick, hook, cross in shadow boxing. Maybe I come forward, jab, bam. My imaginary opponent tries to go for their kick. I check it, come down, kick back, hook, cross, okay? stop there. You can work in slips. You can work in bobs and weaves. So you come forward, your opponent tries that lead side hook, you bob under. Come back and counter back. Yep. You can imagine your opponent throwing different common attacks and sequences and you can choose different ways to deal with those and different um, counter combinations to build off of those. Well, let's say for example I'm going to come forward, jab, cross, bam, bam, opponent's going to come back, jab, cross, I'm going to cross, parry that jab, boom, when that cross comes out I'm going to slip off. I go to the body, bang, bang, bang. Okay, so all together, um, one, two, cross, very slip off, bang, bang, bang. Okay. Working in this defensive technique to my opponent's one, two. I throw my one, two, boom, boom, and for their one, two, cross, parry, slip off, boom, boom, boom. Reset. Okay. <laughs> You don't have to do this every round. Sometimes you can just rep your attacks and your combos and your offensive techniques. But the more that you practice this, the more prepared you're gonna be for 
your opponent to counter back in the middle of a combo of yours. So if all you ever practice is your combos without anybody doing something back in the middle, then when it first happens to you that you're sparring against a training partner that throws something in the middle of something, so you say you've repped jab, kick, hook, cross a million times, and then the first time that you go to do it to an actual person, it's programmed into your body, jab, kick. Your opponent sees you putting your weight forward, they kick you when you're here. If you would have practiced when you were shadow boxing, boom, check, come back, kick, then you would have been prepared for that. So integrating these defensive techniques into your shadow boxing can give you a more cohesive overall game because it can give you reps of sequences that you're going to actually use that are a combination of offensive and defensive. Thank you guys. Welcome prep. Please join us at the end of the week for the video workout.